Good evening. Uh, this is uh, Jareel. I'd like to talk about this video I'm about to present to you uh, called The Journey A through Z An Alphabet of Mathematical Spells, Part 1 of 3. Uh, I will go ahead and continue with Part 1. And once I get Part 2 and 3 together, I'll go ahead and post it. Let's begin our lesson. This enlightenment that I'm about to give you will definitely help you to see the uh, facts um, as well as the knowledge of enlightenment in your mind dealing with the alphabet. The English language or lingo age, a mathematical principle of numerology. The two common languages use the same English letters with a different tone, frequency, or speech. Also to spell out phrases, words with value, tone, and tune. This language or lingo age is all different vibrations and frequencies of pitch, bass patterns. There are plenty more. More is Spanish or versus English. For an example. Um, if you were to go to google.com and go to the translator and type a word like uh, uh, river, um, it'll give you the same English quote unquote letters for the same letters in Spanish. In other words, Spanish in English is nothing but what? Vibrations, either a slower pitch or a higher pitch but it's still based upon English letters there's many other quote-unquote languages or lingo age uh, vibrations or sounds of speech within different frequencies um, so let's go back to this so-called lingo age. Lingo means confusion. It comes from the word lingo. So when we're looking at lingo, we're looking at confusion or a confused age. So let's go back once more in Corinthians chapter 14 verse 13. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. I'm not here supporting the Bible. I'm not here trying to give anyone any form of reasoning that I quote unquote believe in something. I don't believe. I don't have faith. I know for a fact that certain things that are not being spoken of because this is the fact that they want you to believe. In other words, they want to deceive you. So let's continue here. Uh, lingo plus age equals lingo age, which equals confused age. Again, in Genesis 11, 1. And the whole earth was one language and of one speech. Who says that the whole earth was one language and one speech? This is what the Bible is telling you. Now, if you can't go back and find these facts, then why in the hell are you sitting there thinking to yourself that the Bible is trying to tell you a truth when you're going to see something here totally different? First of all, what was the language spoken, say, 5,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 20,000 years ago? See, the Bible is only going to tell you only 6,000 years of history or his story. Because that's how old this fool is. He's only less than 1,400 years old. But yet he's going to tell you and I that we're only 6,000 years old. Let's go on. Now, that was the King James Version. Let's go and look look at the NI, I mean, uh, another verse here in Genesis 7. 11 7 come let us go down and confuse the people with different languages 
First of all, why is the Bible telling you that it's going to confuse the people of different languages when the Bible's also telling you that this God is not the author of confusion? Come on, Mr. Minister, Mr. Mini Story, let us know the real fact here. Let's not pretend that we know something when we really don't. Come, let us go down and confuse the people with different languages. Now, if this so-called people were intelligent, why would you want to confuse them? They, then they won't be able to understand each other. So if you can't understand, or if you cannot comprehend, or if you cannot learn, or be lightened and with another so quote unquote language as they put here, then what is the use of speech? Speech is confusion. Come, let us go down and confuse the people with different languages. Language is speech. Then they will not be able to understand each other. Once again, what kind of God of some, some kind of intelligence is going to confuse a people? If, they're, if they are so-called intelligent, why would a God with an intelligence go down to an earth and tell an earth that I'm going to confuse you because I don't want you to be more intelligent than I? What kind of crap is that? Another revised written version is NIV. At one time, all the people of the world spoke the same language and used the same words. Okay, words, the same words. What words were they using? Let's be more specific here. What more, what words were they using? Was it English? Was it Chinese? What was it? Now, if you don't know, then don't say nothing. Why is it written here? Why is it not being more specific? It's the same, the same, the same words or the same language. So, language is words. Speech. Language is words and speech. This is what the Bible is trying to tell you here. Let's keep on going. Look at verse 7. Come and let us go down and confuse the people. This is a different language or with different languages. See, different languages, different words, different speech, different vibration. <laughs> but the same dang bullshit. Then they will not be able to understand each other. Again, what kind of God would want to confuse something that he created? This is the Bible says that he's a he. So why would he come down and confuse something? Sounds like an ego to me. Let's go to the next step. What is the frequency of the letters? Yes, you see frequency. Letters. Words is nothing but frequency. Vibration. Speech. Of the alphabet in English. <clears throat> Going to the far right. The inventor of Morse code, Samuel Morse. 1791 to 1872 needed to know this so that he could give the simplest codes you get it simplest codes to the most frequently get it frequently frequence or frequency use letters he did it simply by counting the number how about this 26 letters of the alphabet of the letters in the sets of printers or prime numbers or numbers or digits type the figures he came up with were however this gives the frequency of the letters in English text which is dominated or dominated get it dominated why is it saying dominated because it's doing something to your mind and we'll go with that and you'll see that in a few minutes by reality, small number of common words for the word game. Get it? Word games. Why word games? Because the alphabet is playing something against you. It is mind spelling. It is giving you a spell. This is why when we go to school, we get educated in spelling, quote unquote. Spelling, casting spells. 
with numerology, not knowing the real value of these letters. A mathematical spell. It is often the frequency of the letters in English vocabulary. You see? Regardless of the word frequency, which is more interest. We did an analysis, uh, an analysis of the letters occurring in the words listed in the main entries and the concise Oxford Dictionary 11th edition revised 2004 and came up with these following tables. So if you go ahead and look at 12,000, that's how many E's are being used in the alphabet. F is only being used 2,025. Or E is basically what number of the alphabet? It would be the value of 5. F is the value of 6. But they're telling you this is what the frequency is. 12,000, 9,000, and so forth down the line. Here goes another chart. The third column represents the proportion. So that would be the third column, which is 56.88. Okay, so basically they're telling you that the letter E is only is, is used 56 times more common than the letter Q. So if you look Q with the parentheses, the, the letter Q is only like one, one out of one uses of the whole entire English language. I wonder why that is. Because the word Q or the letter Q stands for queen. They do not want to lift up the women for nothing here. The frequency of the letters at the beginning of the words is different again. There are more English words beginning with the letters of S than with any other letter. That is right. If you go back and search for it, you will see it. Because the letter S stands for the word sun. And the sun is light. And the sun gives you what? Lightenment. That you can read this for yourself. Matter of fact, here, this is a main. This is mainly because the clusters such as SC, SH, SP, and ST act almost like independent letters. The letter E only comes about halfway down the order, and the letter X or is ones. You get it ones. It's the last. Ones, everything else is above two, three, and four, and it starts with five all the way up. I wonder why that is, and you will see in a few seconds. Let's go ahead and go to the next step. The English alphabet. The alphabet redirects here for the short film by David Lynch. Hmm. <laughs> there goes that word again. David Lynch must be the brother of Willie Lynch. See the alphabet film. The modern English alphabet is a Latin alphabet consisting of 26 letters. So yes, the English language is Latin. So there's no such thing as English. It is Latin. Well, we can even go back and take a look and see what Latin is. Okay, but anyway, again, the same letters are the, are that are found in the IOS basic Latin alphabet. The exact shape and printed letters varies depending on the typeface, the shape or the handwrite letters and different significantly from the standard printed form and between individuals, especially when they're when written in cursive style. So you get it cursive. You get you're being cursed. See cursive. So you're being cursed. So when you write cursive, you are being cursed. Let's go on. Now if you look at the table with your capitalized letters and your small letters. So the capitalized letters are masculine because that's more positive. So that's the male. That's uppercase because the man what resurrects. Okay, resurrects, erects. Uh, the minuscule or the thinum portion or the smaller lowercase letters is pitch for female or negative letters. Okay, because they're smaller. So you got the uppercase and the lowercase, positive and negative, yin and yang, cause and effect. Let's go to the next step. The English, the English, a mathematical principle, numerology. Here we go. 
There are many forms of equations, solutions of mathematics by applying these mathematical terms or contract. The word terms means contract. So if I give you a word, say crow, crow means a bird. That's the term. That's the contract. It's a verbal contract. A verbal contract. That's all it means. This is the this is the terms of the letters. This is the contract of the word that I'm giving you. If we go back again, you gotta think now. Words is vibration, sound. So if the word is sound, why are they giving you a definition? See, def, definition. They don't want you to think. Value. Where begin to see a different form of meaning behind the words spelling? A prime example is the Frankenstein monster and the scarecrow. Let's break this down. Frankie, this is what I'm calling Frankie or Frankenstein, had no brain but was asleep until he received a brain which was given of another dead body. He was the very first mindless zombie who was working on him. Dr. Frankenstein or Count Dracula. Dracula is working on the Frankenstein monster. If you look at Asar, who was Asar? Asar had missing pieces. He had 14 missing pieces. While Frankenstein had a other few missing pieces. His brain and his penis, his pelvis. Same thing with Asar, was a missing pelvis. But one thing about Asar, he had a brain. But this fool didn't. So what did Frank? What did the doctor Frankenstein do? He gave him a different mindset off a dead body, another dead body. When he saw fire, knowledge talking about Frankenstein now here. When Frankenstein saw fire, which is knowledge, fear overwhelmed him into submissions. Sounds like those Christians out there, huh? As soon as you give them some form of knowledge. They run and flee, or they complain. Ah, I can't take the heat, can't take the truth. With no penis, a dead brain, or penile gland. Either the penis is going to erect, or it's going to go wimp. Either you're going to think, or you're going to run. Which one is it? Are you a penis, or are you a thinking individual? Hmm. How can he resurrect or erect a thought into existence? Has not this his creator, white god master, take away his ability to think? Of course he has. If the one who takes the brain and gives it a dead brain, then what good is it? It's only good to serve the master, the minister, the mini story, the monster. Yes, he is also the monster. Let's go on. How about the scarecrow? He is just worse as a zombie. Because he is the zombie of chaff, wheat and straw, which his brain gets tossed by the wind. As soon as you say something, I don't believe that. I can't stand that. Well, if the wind is too hard, it's going to knock your ass down. If the truth is too hard, it's going to knock your ass down. If the fact is hard, it's going to knock your ass down. You are tossed by the wind. You are a scarecrow because you are scared of the knowledge. And sucked by straw. Yeah, that's right. Sucked by a straw. What else do you suck? Hmm. Let's keep on going here. This creature walks without balance, order, or truth. His reasoning is tossed blown away, mindless, with deeper fears. Them, them black crows would pick at him. I wonder why. Why would the black crows pick at the scarecrow? Hmm, think about that for a moment. You think they're trying to tell you something? No, they're really trying to give you some serious metaphysics here. Let's take a look at this in a numerology or numerical kind of way. Black crows. Black is 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2, which equals to 11. Then the value of 11 equals God, 
or 5 plus 1 plus 5, which is 15 or 5, 515 AD, Act 11. Look at that. Go ahead and search for that link, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So, the black means more. So that's the Moors, okay? So now, let's go back to the word crow. What does the word crow mean and numerically? It's 3 plus 9 plus 6 plus 5 plus 1 equals 24, or the 24 elders. That's right, Haru, male and female. So again, the crows is what? Haru, or a bird, right? So if the crows are a bird and if there's a black, that means a black bird or a air being, which is what? Haru, hero. Okay, because Haru represents a bird. He's the crow. All right, let's keep on going. Let's take a look at the word scared. When you sum up all the letters of the word scare, uh, scare, you got the value of 19. There are five letters of the word scare. So 5 plus 19 equals 24. There goes your spell. You see, scared crow. Scared of your elders. Scared of yourself. You are the scarecrow. See, you are afraid to seek out knowledge. Because 24 minus 24 equals 0. Yes, 0 also has a positive and negative effect on you. If you don't know, you are mindless. If you do know, you become balanced. Therefore, you have, you have the knowledge of understanding yourself and therefore you become outstanding. We are the black crows, Haru. Okay? That's just why those black crows were picking at the scarecrow. You see? That's right. Think about that for a moment. Let's go on to the next step. The, numer uh, the numerology of the alphabet, A to Z. The values of digits and letters, 1 to 26. A to Z. These values have a sum of the same numeric equation or solution. Sample, 1 equals 10 because what? 1 plus 0 equals 1 or 13 equals 1 plus 3 which equals 4. So the outer numbers between 1 and 9 are your highest single digit numbers. 1 and 9 is 10 8 and 2 is 10, 7 and 3 and 10, 6 and 4 is 10, and 5 is in the middle because 5 is you. And you'll find out, see why, okay? So now, the group of these numbers is the values or the letters. So A through I is the lowest or the lowest or highest value of the alphabet. So now they're group in three. So A, J, S, B, K, T, C, L, U, M, D, M, V, E, N, E, N, W, F, O, X, G, P, Y, and so forth down the line. Okay, here goes the check layout. First of all, we got one through nine. And then from there, you got, you got 10 through 18, and you got 19 to 26. So, Again, J is 10. 1 plus 0 is 1. 19. 1 plus 9 is 10. And then 1 again, 1 plus 0 is 1. So again, another example, F is the 6th letter. O is the 15th letter. And X is the 24th letter. When you add all those values up, you get 6. Okay? So let's go back to number 1. Why number 1? Number 1 Another jazz song, A-J-S, another jazz song. What is a jazz song? Speechless, a vibration. It has no speech. It is nothing but a value of sound. Two, bucket. Your mind, your mind is what? Speechless, number one. Your mind is speechless. So three, you need to get a clue. Hmm. Trinity, clue. Christ's light is you. Get a clue. Number three. 
Number four is DMV. Why DMV and number four? Because number four means the earth and DMV is the most powerful organization or corporation here in America because what is it doing? It is registering the vehicle. Who's the vehicle? You're the vehicle, not the car. You're the vehicle. You're the property. Your mind. Get it? Your mind is the property. Because you're speechless. Number one. You don't think. You just write your name on the contract and think it's normal. So who was in the middle of the alphabet? New. Five. Child. You're the child in the middle. Trying to figure all this stuff out. You are the new child. You are the creation. Trying to figure who you are. First of all, you're the vehicle. You need to get a clue. Your mind is speechless. Number six, who outfoxed you? Awareness. Six is awareness. Who outfoxed you? Number seven, gypsy. That's right. Number seven is gypsy. Why gypsy? Because seven is wisdom. And who were the most powerful beings on the planet? Egypt. Kemet. See? E.T. You put an E.T. there. Why Why E.T.? Why E.T.? Who are the real E.T.'s here? They're trying to tell you something. You got to think about that for a moment. Okay? You got to think about that for a moment. Eight, which is birth. Why the number eight for birth? Because you got headquarters. Before you was even manifested in your daddy's penis, you was also a thought and mother. See, first you was a thought and mother. And then daddy agreed upon what mama wanted to do. So he lied with mama. And then when mama was ready, she gave birth to you. But first you was a thought because you were a headquarters. You were, you were on the top of the line. You were in her mind before you was anything. You was a thought. This is why you came into existence. Because nine is what? You came back here nine months later. See, first of all, you were three. In three months, you had to get a clue because three means female. That's right. Nine means what? I-R. How about this? The eye of raw. Get it? I-R. Eye of raw. Because nine is divine consciousness. You are a divine being. Your eye, I, the eye of Ra, the eye of Horus, the eye of Haru, the all-seeing eye. That's you. That's your penal gland, the number nine. Infrared, the all-seeing. Get it? Infrared, I-R. Let's go to the next step. The chart of numeric terms. Get it? Contract, a, va a value of contract. Now, let's take a look at these values. One through three, if you add them across, you get the number six. We're right here. Okay? If you add four through six, you get 15. And then one and five equals six. Seven, eight, and nine equal 24. And when you add two and four together, you get six. The alphabet is six, six, six. If you add all sixes together, you get the value of 18. And then when you add 1 and 8 together, you get the value of 9. Hmm. Think about that for a moment. Now, again, you have your values. And I put these values across here so that way you can see. If you add 1 through 9, you get the value of 45. If you add the values between 10 and 18, you get the value of 190 of 126. If you add the values of 19 to 26, you get the value of 180. If you add all these numbers down here, you get the value of 351. You are nine degrees off of 360 degrees. You are the divine one. If you add your nine to this, you get 360 degrees. What is 360 degrees? A circle. What is a circle? 
a circle of 12. Why do you have 13 letters or 26 letters? Because 26 divided by 2 equals 13. Yes. Why 13? Because 12 is significant to the zodiac sign. And the next number after 12 is 13. So that means 1. You are 1. You are the sun. You are the eye of Haru. Ra. Ra means sun. Your eye is the sun. Your pineal gland. So now. Let's take a look at this. If I were to tell you or give you some things here, why do you have DEF? DEF. Get it? DEF. What's the value of that? The value of DEF is 4 plus 5 plus 6. 15. Hmm, why 15? Because again, 1 and 5 equals 6. Get it? You just got foxed. Hmm. What's the value of 13? H and E. See? 8 and 5 is 13. He. Who is he? Headquarters. Your mind. Your mind is your head. Your headquarters. <laughs> You've got to think. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's take a look at the word C. S E. C. Or how about this? S E E. S E E. What is S E E? We got the value of 19, but it's the value of 1. See? So that's 1 plus 5 plus 5, which is 11. C is 11. C, I mean S. E E. It's 11. So that's what? That's 10 and 11. 11 means God. So if you see, you are divine. Boom. Right there. You are using your eye of Haru. So the sum of the nine in three parts. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6 and so forth down the line right here. Okay. So now, which is 6, 6? Or 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. And 9 plus 9 equals 27. Then eight, 18 equals 9. And 27 equals 9. Else, 1,827. What does that mean? Well, 1,827 is the value of pata. That's the value of pata. Or pata means path. So, no matter how you were to write it, it also means hotel. 1827. So, when you basically look at the word path, it means pata, which means hotel. Or A, or A-H-T-P. Okay? So, they all have the same value, which is 9. When you sum everything up. The question, why? Why the question, why? Get it? Why? Why? Why means why. A-E-I-O-U. The song. Get it? A-E-I-O-U. I-A-E-T-I. God of you. Who's eating? Who's eating your mind right here? See? A E. I O U. You sing in the song. You are under a spell. It's nothing but a spell. A E I O U. See? A E I O U. Who are they trying to tell you? I owe you. You see? Or they own you through the alphabet. This is not our speech. We are not supposed to be speaking English. <laughs> When are you going to get it out of your mind that you think that you've been speaking English all your life? You're not supposed to speak English. You're not even supposed to speak. You're supposed to use your mind to think, to talk, to communicate, to be one with the universe, to be one with nature. That's what you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be talking about Jesus and all this other crap. Church and shit like that. 
that's supposed to be using your mind to communicate with the universe and the earth in itself, including those who are who are have life on the planet. Yes, the animals, the plants, the animals, even the air that you breathe, even the sun that you look at. Even the ground that you walk on, even the earth in general, you should be able to communicate and talk with the earth if your mind was right. So that's it. And I will go ahead and start my next lesson in the next few days. I'll go ahead and continue number two. I'll post it, then I will go with number three. Again, this is Jarrell. Talk to you all later. Hotep. Have a good one.